Alright guys, uh, welcome to what's going to be the first video in a series of videos explaining on how we're going to teach you to make gold. Um, this is going to be an instructional video mainly for demonology warlocks on how to get to and how to farm properly Schnutz Landing. Uh, I've got Ollie with me. Uh, and uh, we are basically going to give you a nice rundown on how much gold and whatnot you make per hour whilst farming at Schnutz. And a just basically a little guide on how to do so. So I'm moving away there now. You want to take your old portal to Oldham, which will take you to Ramkahen, or Ramankan, or whatever you want to call it. Um, for this, if you want to maximize your gold earned per hour, you're probably going to want to take a few potion of treasure finding. Um, if you know an alchemist, you can get them to make one, or two, or three, or four, or five, depending on how long you want to spend there. Sorry, my bag's a bit of a state. Uh, this is a character I haven't had for very long, but the statistics I've made about 2k gold a day, isn't that right? Yeah. Have a look. I'll just show off while I'm on my way there. I'll zoom over a bit so you can see where I'm going. So you want to start heading north west <laughs> northwest from Ramkahen up to Schnotz Landon. Uh, I forgot to my statistics. Yeah, you want to be heading sorry for the lag up here at the obelisk of the moon. There's lots of schnots infantry there. So yeah, back to my statistics. Uh, you can see there, wealth, average gold um, per day is 2.1k and my playtime is not that much. Bearing in mind, it's 21 days total playtime on this character. Bearing in mind that's with leveling and with getting gear, running heroics and whatnot, I've still made 21, uh, 21, 2.1k gold per day. So, uh, how long did it take for you to actually get to level 85? Well, from 1 to 80. 1 to 80 took me, I think, 6 days, and then 80 to 85 took me a day. Yeah. Because I'm a complete nerd. <laughs> anyway, we're here now, so you want to buff up, pot up. Yeah, I'm going to push around. Now we'll pot it up. Uh, for demonology warlocks, the main. I'll show you the build as well, that'll probably help. Uh, I tend to go down into improved light tap into affliction instead of to ember storm. It just seems more useful for me. Skip that. Uh, demonic empowerment, your pet won't be getting stunned. You won't be using hellfire because you're taking enough damage as it is, so cremation you can't get anyway. Metamorphosis and impending doom are the pinnacles of this spec for getting metamorphosis off cooldown quick enough. Basically the idea is to run in and AoE as much as you can. Um, pet fell storm. you go want to use your emulation aura, your demon leap, and then you want to rain a fire on top of the mobs. So this can be done with other classes? Yeah, I haven't personally tried it with any other classes. I, I'm pretty sure a paladin would be able to do this with a bubble, but you'd have to wait for the bubble cooldown. And I've seen what um, paladins and mages and people dueling this quite a lot. So it could be done with more than one person? Oh yeah, yeah, would quite. I would say, yeah, you, obviously if you're splitting the gold with the person, your profit per hour would be cut in half. But here I may usually make, if I'm not, not including buying on equipped blues, about 3k an hour. But it can, it can be less or more, it's all very random number generator because of the potion. Anyway, I'll just show them a quick demonstration now on how to take them down. So you send your pet in first, not your pet charge is really going to be first. Obviously, I've come right now, but I'm going to to hit me very quickly. I'm going to have to look at you and just target me. Really? I'm going to burn the lid down as well. The idea here is to just incinerate as often as you can, because it gets. Uh, off Once everything's dead, you want to just loot up, take everything you can, and move on as quickly as you can. As you can see, I got my first chest there. So uh, the chests from the potion, aren't they? Yeah, uh, you won't be able to find the chest without the potion. But sometimes you get f three chests per pool. Sometimes you get one. Sometimes you get none. It's all of it. I'll show you what the chests contain. I'll do this. What I'm doing now is basically just spamming incinerate using any other skills as I'm trying to get the informant. 
That's a really good chest, actually. That's 1 gold, 74 silver, 14 copper, and 10 imbecile cloth, which I'm going for 5 gold per cloth, per cloth on the server, which is 51 gold. And that, that potion probably cost me about... Well, really with all the herbs, it probably cost me about 70 gold to make, so I'm pretty much making a money back in the chest, and it's got 57 minutes left on it. So yeah, again, I'm just spam to... Morphosis is off cooldown. Loot and move on. There's an next pack waiting for me. Send in the vet. Get spins. Morphosis. Yeah, it's for this repetitive game. Somewhat boring, but it's a very cheap and efficient way of earning some money in a short amount of time. Also, if you're feeling lucky, I've had one or two ethics drop. Yeah. Both of which I'm wearing, actually. So we'll just go for it. And I'll just... We're going to speed up the next part of the video and we'll just show you, like, maybe 20 minutes of farming and we'll show you all the loot. I'll open all the chests at the end, so I hope you enjoy.